Now we're going to look at the important factors for installing a biogas digester. As you can see here, the hole has been prepared for the tank. Very importantly is to make sure that there's no sharp rocks that can damage the unit. You're trying to look for about a 200 to 250 millimeter gap between the hole um, and the edge of the tank. So what we've done here, there was actually a sharp rock at the bottom of this um, hole, which we filled with 150 millimeter river sand to make sure that there's nothing that can damage the underside of this tank. So what we're gonna do now is lower this tank into the hole. The next step then is to fill this tank full of water so that you've got that internal strength within the tank. As you can see the design, there's, there's a, um, the reinforcing ribs so that you've got the hoop strength in the tank. Then we're gonna start filling this hole. The process for filling the hole, or what we call backfilling, is you're going to then start filling the sides of this tank in about 200 to 250 millimeter segments and ideally you should mix that in a ratio of one to five with cement five ratio soil one ratio cement and compact then you do the second layer and compact the third layer and compact till you've got the whole um, installation of the tank to your surface level and then afterwards wet that soil so that you can get the cement to bond with the soil and, and, and settle down. As you can see here, this side has been cleaned out for the input coming from that living unit and then on this side the takeoff back into that sewage line for your, your, your processed effluent to go back into the sewage system.